Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta, Learn Form Validation by Building a Calorie Counter, Step 60. All right. So remember that our isInvalidInput function returns string.match, which is an array of matches or null if no matches are found. In JavaScript, values can be either truthy or falsy. A value is truthy if it evaluates to true when converted to a Boolean, and a value is falsy if it yeah, a value is falsy if it evaluates to false when converted to a Boolean. Okay. A null is an example of a falsy value. Okay. So we need to check if invalid input match is truthy. We can do this by passing the variable directly to our if condition without a comparison operator. So here's an example of checking the truthiness of hello world, right? So if we say if hello world, blah, 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 and it, it'll return if, pardon me, if hello world is true, it'll return whatever's in here, right? So hello world, like, like if it's like something like this and it comes out to false or null or zero or empty string, it'll be false and it won't run or it'll do an else if we have an else, I mean, but that's beside the point. So what we're gonna do here is just like how we have the variables and then the, the variable and then the space between that and the function or the for loop, we're gonna have a space between this and this if statement, all right? So we'll say right here, if, whoops, right here, how about that? If invalid input match is truthy. So we'll just put this in there, take that, throw that there, and then we'll have at the end of this some curly braces thusly, all right? And that should take care of it. Let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 61 and we'll see you next time.